Hi. In this tutorial I want to show you how to estimate sugar content in tomatoes using spectral imaging. In this project we have a set of scans acquired by hyperspectral camera. You can see that each contains one or more tomato pieces. We also have a separate Excel file that is listing for each scan what was the value of bricks of sugar content that was measured in the lab destructively after the scanning. Our goal is to build a model that will be able to predict for any um, new scan uh, sugar content for each tomato. So because we want to work on the level of uh, tomatoes and we want to uh, deal with objects, uh, the first step will be building a uh, pixel classifier. That is something we discussed already in different uh, tutorials. So here uh, we are starting from already defined pixel classifier. Uh, note that um, we defined uh, the class of background and tomato and we also uh, defined a separate uh, class of reflection and uh, defect. Reflection uh, is uh, helping us to get rid of uh, specular uh, reflection areas that uh, we don't want to include in the analysis and uh, defect uh, is uh, removing some of the defects that we also don't want to uh, use for a regression. So we have a pixel uh, classification model that we can apply to any scan and uh, uh, we can uh, now proceed with uh, regression modeling. For that uh, we need objects. So we will highlight uh, the class of tomato as so we will flag it as foreground and therefore we can segment out individual objects. If we want to do um, regression modeling, we need to attach numerical values, in this case bricks values, to the individual um, tomato pieces. We could do that manually, that we discussed in a different tutorial, but here we want to import automatically the numerical annotation from Excel file. So we go to our import dialog and here we have two separate parts. On the left side we can specify the uh, metadata file, the Excel file, and we can point out to the area of the Excel file that contains the scan names and numerical values. So scan names are in column D and the first cell is D2 and numerical values are in column F and the first cell is F2. Then we can load values from this file. The second part of uh, the dialog is uh, dealing with matching of the uh, images we have in per class mira project into this uh, Excel uh, metadata. Uh, the simplest uh, matching is exact, so that means that uh, the Excel, Excel file contains exactly the, the same names as uh, the scan names we already have in per class mira. Uh, we are in this uh, situation so we can just click to match the metadata and we will get for selected image or images in our project the numerical values. Uh, now we can choose how do we attach these values to objects in our uh, image. It can be to the largest one but in our case we want to attach uh, the numerical values to all objects in each scan. If we click OK we will see num numerical values appearing on uh, our objects. So we can repeat this process for a set of scans, just returning to the import dialog that uh, remembers all the settings, matching uh, the uh, information and importing the numerical metadata. This will provide us with an uh, annotated set of scans and we can progress towards the regression analysis. Uh, as with any uh, modeling, um, it's uh, useful to select uh, several uh, scans and uh, flag them for testing so that we have some independent validation data uh, to judge the quality of uh, our model. And then we create the regression data set. We see that uh, in our data we have uh, 
37 annotations in total and uh, we will um, now also see that this is really mapping to 30 objects for training and 7 for testing. Now we are ready to build the regression model. So we got our first regression model trained. You see in this plot the true value and the estimated value of the bricks and each of these uh, individual points is representing one piece of tomato. Uh, the red points are from the training set and green from the test set. When we move around these points we can see in the status bar which specific point we are looking at and uh, also the true and estimated uh, value. Um, we would like to improve this modeling uh, and that can be done in different ways. One would be a different pre-processing. We could for example try to smooth uh, the, uh, the spectra before uh, regression modeling. Let's see if it helps. It actually doesn't. The important value for us is the Q-square statistic. For the test examples it got a little bit worse. We would like to get it closer to 1. We can try different pre-processing, for example first derivative and see what happens. This is a, a much better um, picture, that's what we want to see. We are actually getting a high value of Q-square statistic, so it looks like that we have a nice uh, model. What can we do with this model? Uh, we can apply it to any scan. That means that um, the Pixel classifier will be first applied, then uh, the tomato objects will be found and for each of them bricks will be measured. That's uh, one thing that we can do. Uh, these images don't need to be, don't need to be annotated in, in any way. For larger studies we are often uh, interested in um, batch processing the data and um, summarizing uh, the, the results, uh, for example in an Excel table. You can do that by exporting regression results for a set of uh, selected scans. Per class Mira will then batch process these selected scans and if we open the Excel file we will see uh, the list of images, uh, the uh, training or test status that allows us to separately deal with training and test images in our analysis, indices of objects, size, bounding boxes, if we have, then uh, true regression value attached to these objects and estimated regression output. So in this tutorial we have seen end-to-end uh, -end solution for estimating bricks sugar content in tomatoes using spectral imaging, having a solution that can be applied to new objects and being able to batch process a set of scan, a set of scans for further analysis. Thank you for your attention.